Nutrition. Today we are making a delicious summery treat. If you haven't already tried a cobbler, I'm about to blow your minds. I am making a blueberry peach cobbler with a pecan and hemp heart biscuit on top. It's delicious and I've partnered up with my friends over at Manitoba Harvest who are a local Canadian brand who grow hemp hearts and it's an awesome superfood full of healthy fats, protein, fiber, they're amazing and I am incorporating them in today's recipe. So let's get right into the video so you can find out how to make this awesome blueberry peach cobbler. For the filling, these are the ingredients you're going to need. Ripe peaches, blueberries, orange juice, orange zest, maple syrup, arrowroot flour, and some cinnamon and sea salt. You're going to want to slice all of your peaches about this thick. I don't know exactly how thick this is, maybe a couple millimeters. And you just want to make sure they're all kind of even so they all cook the same. In a large bowl, you're going to add in your sliced peaches, blueberries, and then the rest of the ingredients for the filling. And then you're just going to give it a stir with a spatula. You just want to be careful not to squash your fruit. Uh, because they are very ripe and delicate, so just try to like fold in all the ingredients until everything is well combined. And then just set aside. Now for our hemp and pecan biscuit topping, these are the ingredients you're going to need. Soy milk, light spelt flour, quick oats, Manitoba harvest hemp hearts, pecans, coconut sugar, coconut oil, make sure it's chilled, apple cider vinegar, and some cinnamon, baking soda, baking powder, and sea salt. You're first going to take your apple cider vinegar and mix that with your soy milk, and this is just gonna create a dairy-free buttermilk. It's gonna thicken up and just work really well in this recipe. So just stir that and set that aside in the fridge for about 15 minutes. In a large bowl, we're gonna add in all of our dry ingredients together. Give it a quick mix. And then take that coconut oil that's been chilling in the fridge, make sure to kind of quickly cube it up um, like I've done here, almost like a crumble, and crumble it over your dry mixture. And this is gonna give you that pastry effect when it cooks in the oven. And then you'll want to take either a fork or one of these handheld pastry mixers. This is a really handy gadget. I'll have a link down below for one. And you just wanna start mixing together the cold coconut oil with the dry ingredients until you kind of form a crumble mixture and then slowly add in your dairy-free buttermilk mixture that we made with the soy milk and apple cider vinegar, and just slowly pour that in until it starts to come together and form a, a dough. You wanna try to work quickly with this so you don't melt the coconut oil. We want the coconut oil to be as cold as possible before getting it into the oven to bake, and that's how you're gonna get that like light, fluffy biscuit texture. You can go ahead and then use your hands just to kind of combine everything together into a ball. Once again, try not to handle it too much so you don't melt the coconut oil. If your dough is still a bit sticky, feel free to add in a little bit more of the light spelt flour until it's not that sticky. If you're not going to use your biscuit dough right away, then make sure you wrap it in saran wrap and refrigerate it. But if you are using it right away, then you can go ahead and start topping your blueberry peach cobbler with the biscuit topping. I'm pouring my filling into this cast iron uh, pan here. You can use a baking tray or a casserole dish, whatever you like, and anything that can really go into the oven. So get all your filling in there. Make sure just to spread the top evenly with the back of a spatula. And then you can start tearing off chunks of your biscuit dough and placing them all over top of your blueberry peach filling until you've covered most of it. Totally optional, you can also just dust on some more coconut sugar on top for some extra sweetness. And then I'm also sprinkling on some more Manitoba Harvest hemp hearts. Bake this in the oven until nice and golden brown. All the directions and instructions will be over on my blog, healthnetnutrition.ca, so be sure to get the full recipe there and share it with a friend who you wanna enjoy this delicious cobbler with. So go ahead and serve yourself and a friend a big portion of this blueberry peach cobbler because it's totally guilt-free and is actually healthy. Who knew? I love to serve mine with a big scoop of some coconut milk ice cream or yogurt and just enjoy it. Like I said, straight out of the oven. I love it. 
So that's going to be it for today's recipe. Hope you guys enjoyed this mouth-watering blueberry peach cobbler. And maybe now you know what a cobbler is. I mean, there's lots of different ways to make cobblers, but I really like the biscuit topping version. And this recipe is so good. I know you're going to love it. It's good for you. It tastes really good. And you're going to trick all your friends into thinking that they're eating something that's bad. I mean, I don't know why people want to eat bad things, but they do. So tell them it's bad, it's not healthy, and they'll love it. <laughs> if you guys recreate this recipe, be sure to send me a photo on social media using the hashtag Health Night Eat so I can find it and like it. And if you aren't already, don't forget to subscribe. You can do so by clicking the button right here. And give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more delicious summery recipes like this one. I will see you guys in next week's video. Have a fabulous day. Bye!